Her dreams swayed her through the valleys of Kodagu. That purity that nourished those greens. Oh, how beautiful she was. How wild yet serene. Nothing remained. No, not the same as she moved out of the uninhabited country. She ran down with all the litter, dung and mud that slid into her. Her large basin now held chemical pesticides, fertilizers and detergents. Her every attempt to cleanse herself was obstructed as more and more sewage flowed into her mouth. The soil could not feed her anymore as the trees were cut down. The food that she once ate heartily now swam in oil leaks and nasty frothy chemicals. She was sad, she was hungry, but nobody paid any attention. Her mother, who bore her and claimed her, now hardly attended to her needs. now remained distant. She was tired. Tired of all the courtroom fights. Despite all the hazel, she maneuvered through her daily routine. The big bullies often drained her out with their power-hungry fists. Her escape plans always spiral down. Her classes weren't any pleasant with all the great irrigation needs and high demands of water supply. The electricity always took a toll on her too. At the end of the day, with all her hard work when she came back home, expecting love, care or even uh, respect, all she was met by was anger, resentment and ignorance. Was this how she was to grow up? Her today shapes her tomorrow. What she grows up to be is in your hands. Arkaveli